Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, you will see that I'm kind of gonna be asking your help through, uh, well, this process. Uh, and the process begins with an explanation. Uh, for quite a while, I have not been um, very kind to my body. Um, health stuff, we all deal with health stuff. Uh, but there comes to be certain times in your life where you really uh, have to make a change or embrace where you're going. And so I'm at that spot uh, where I have to make a change because I don't want to embrace where I'm going. I want to make sure that I'm around for everybody to graduate high school and see grandkids and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm going to let Krista talk about her own side of things here in a bit, but I'll just tell you mine and then we'll visit over there. Um, I'm overweight, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but this is the heaviest I've ever been. And that doesn't feel good. And I can't get around as fast as I normally would. And I've got high blood pressure, so strike two, right? And, um, I've got back pain that probably being overweight doesn't help with that. Um, and so I've kind of gotten to the point where it's, it's gotta, it's gotta get different. I don't, I don't like the way I feel. I don't like the way I am looking. And, um, but most importantly, I don't want to jip the family. I don't want to rob the family, the kids of dad. And, um, you know, so I'm going to have to make some changes and I'm going to be starting very soon. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about what that's going to look like and how you might want to kind of journey with us on this journey. So with that said, um, we did not decide that um, it was going to be one person or the other or just one or just the other. We both kind of came to this conclusion that stuff's got to change, but I will let you speak now. Well, as a mom of many children, you don't really have a whole lot of time to take care of yourself. <clears throat> so, um, I'd eat whatever was easy, and so I'm overweight because of it. So, I am making a concerted effort to have smaller portions. I'm not going to go on a specific diet or knock out all sugars and, and not, I'm not going to kill myself and then go back to exactly what I was doing. <clears throat> I am going to not have four Oreos after dinner as dessert. I may have one. I may not have you know, I will try my darndest not to eat Reese's cups. So guys, <laughs> don't send me any. <laughs> I have been really good about over the last few weeks not buying candy and not eating the candy. And anyway, drinking more water, no more sodas. Um, yes, I will have my peppermint tea with honey because I know it's good for me. <laughs> um, but just portion control is what the goal that I'm going for. Well, and here's the scoop. I mean, you guys know that we've been on this journey. If you've watched our channel even more than a year, you will have seen the recipes that we used to make a lot of were two kinds of recipes. They were either homemade from scratch recipes and we didn't really care about how much butter was in it, but, but it didn't come out of a box. Right. And, um, then there was a lot of the stuff recently, more recently, is the Thrive Life stuff, which, ironically, if we were eating more of the Thrive Life stuff, it's way more healthy than the, what, the stuff that we have been eating. But I think you just get used to it. You right. get in your rut, mm -hmm. and um, you get used to it. And uh, so, like Krista said, we're not going to try to go crazy into keto or vegan or any of these, like, name trendy things no we are going to do a what um 
a lot of people call a balanced diet. Basic Not stuff. Not a lot of sugars, um, healthy vegetables, salads, meat. I mean, we're not going to go vegetarian because we have animals for meat and for we a like reason. It. And we like it. But our portions are going to be smaller. So. Yeah. And for, for us, what we're going to do as a stepping stone is just get back to the basics. Yeah. Water. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll have coffee in the morning, but I won't use sugar with it. I'll, I'll use stevia. Right. Um, but not buying boxed things and preparing boxed mm-hmm. things because they're fast. Right. But m- taking that f- effort, that extra effort to making sure that we have a, a meal plan mapped out. I mean, you guys may be wondering why we haven't done any meal, monthly meal plannings in, for the past three or four, well, three, probably three or four months. Yeah. We didn't do it. Right. Life got busy, and we just didn't take the time to do it. Right. Um, well, and we're not gonna we're gonna try not to do any fried foods if possible. We will do more baked things, mm-hmm. uh, roasted veggies instead of well. We would always steam them. We would never boil them. We'd either steam them or roast them. So we'll go with either of those. Um, fish. Mm-hmm. Um, Chicken, that sort of thing. Right. Just do. Healthier portions is really what it is. Yeah, and and not getting stuck in the weeds with any one specific, you should cut out this or right. you should cut out that. Right. We're just going to get, you know, logical and reasonable. If you, if you want to have five Oreos, have one. Right. If you have that hankering for a taste of something sweet, you know what's funny? I find that I if I go get the Thrive grapes, that curbs that sweet Right then and there. The, the, the itch for something to yes. sweet. Yeah, because yeah, the, the grapes are super sweet and they're delicious. But um, mm-hmm. like dinner, we had a couple of, we had Oreos after des- for dessert. Well, one Oreo. Yeah. Not a serving size was three. I have one. And with the goal of ultimately not needing that stuff anyway. Right, right. But I, I'm pretty sure I'm addicted to sugar. Right. Yeah. You know, because every time I don't have something super sugary, at least every other day, I start thinking about it and wanting it, mm-hmm. you know. And it gets really crabby. I don't get crabby. I'm kidding. I don't get crabby. <laughs> so, you know, I, I hope that you guys can be supportive um, if you guys don't agree with our health choice. Oh, well. Sorry. That's, you know, this is our choice that we're going to go this way and everybody has a different plan that they want to do for their lives and That's, this is what we want to do for us. Um, however, yes, I agree. Yeah. However, uh, what we did hope to do mm-hmm. through this process is that as you see our hopefully successes, but we will also share with you our failures. Mm-hmm. Don't think that we're going to put like numbers up of, oh, no. you are X ounces heavier or lighter. I will not do that ever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, guys don't really care so much. I mean, I, I may tell my weight. I haven't decided. Um, it's not a vanity thing. It's just I don't want to be weird about it because yeah. some people are, are heavier than me and some people are lighter than me. Right. And they all think different things about their opinion on mm-hmm. what's too much and what's not enough. Um, so I don't, I don't think we're going to go that route. But what we might do, maybe, I don't know, we haven't really chatted about it, is uh, saying, okay, um, this week I lost two pounds. Or right. this week I, I slowed down and I didn't really gain or lose anything. Right. Um, but what I was hoping to, to do with this is, as you guys see, um, maybe you can participate in it for yourself as well and then share your successes and even your failures mm-hmm. if you feel like you want to do that in the um, in the comments section. Yeah. And what you'll find is that a lot of people read those comments sections, guys, and when they see your name pop up and, and they'll remember, oh my gosh, they lost two pounds this week. Mm-hmm. Whoa, they, they, they lost a pound last week. Mm-hmm. And you can comment in the comments section as to what you're doing if you if you so desire, but what you're fi- I guarantee you, what you'll find is there'll be a lot of people that are wanting to support you. Exactly. And so, with our doing this, we're hoping that it's going to help just more than us. That it'll help a lot of you. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Fitbit thing, 
Not going to do it again. No. Uh, it was really... It became like a controlling device. It, ca- it became obsessive. Yeah, because it was like, oh my gosh, I didn't get in enough 50 steps. I got to run around the house. And it was just... It was OCD city. Yeah. So we're not going to do that. Mm-mm. But... Um, Wanted to share it with you to let you know what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if you participated. Um, I understand that there are folks that are watching that are probably going to go, you know what, that's not for me. And I get that. I get that. Mm -hmm. Um, However, we're going to try to do at least a weekly update Mm -hmm. where um, it might be a video or it might be part of our live stream that we're doing on Sunday nights. Mm -hmm. But you'll have plenty of time to figure out an update of where we're at. Yep. Uh, And I think last thing is we're not really going to start this until next Monday. So we get a grace period between now and then. No. (laughs) Um, Just because I like round numbers. I like like round numbers. (laughs) It's it's Monday now. (laughs) But when they see this, it's actually going to be probably Thursday or Friday. Eh. It's all right. That's why I said Monday. Okay. All right. Anyway, that means I can go raid the gumball drawer one more time. Might we'll see. Drink another glass of water. First, yeah. Uh-huh. So anyway, um, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. And you guys have a blessed and amazing day.